Over time and with use, all cables have a tendency to stretch, and this applies to the two cables that operate the power safe clutch. The one connected to the black clutch lever and the other one to the red operator presence control lever. This video will show you how to properly adjust these cables, and the only tools you will need are one 11mm and two 13mm open end wrenches. Before adjusting either cable, and for better visibility, position the handlebars over the engine and if present, remove the lower shield. If working with an electric start tractor, as we are here, there is no need to remove the battery tray. The symptom that the clutch cable has stretched and needs adjusting is that after squeezing the clutch lever, the OPC lever cannot be lowered. For safety purposes, the two controls are sequenced so that the clutch cable with the large eyelet needs to partially engage the OPC control next to it before the OPC lever can be fully lowered. Consequently, adjust the clutch cable if the OPC lever cannot be easily lowered. Never exert extreme downward pressure on the red lever. To shorten the clutch cable, use the 13mm wrench to loosen the jam nut on the adjusting tube, located on the bracket in front of the clutch lever on the left handlebar. Once loose, turn the tube counterclockwise a couple revolutions, either with the 11mm wrench or by hand. Test to see if the OPC lever can now be lowered all the way. If not, turn the tube one or two more revolutions and test again. When successful, tighten the jam nut and confirm that you still have an inch or two of free play in the bottom arc of the clutch lever before feeling resistance. Moving on to the OPC cable. The most common symptom that the OPC cable has stretched is the loss of power to your tractor and or attachment when it's under load. Because a loss of power can be a symptom of other causes, check the amount of free play in the red lever before you feel resistance. If resistance is felt within a half to one inch, cable adjustment is not needed and the cause for power loss lies elsewhere. If free play exceeds one inch, adjust the cable and test for power before proceeding to other possible causes. To shorten the cable, follow the cable down to the top of the transmission housing where the outer black sheath is seated in a threaded tube. Of the two cables found here, the OPC cable is the one farther from the dipstick, and its inner cable is the one with the smaller eyelet. Holding the tube stationary with the 11mm wrench, use the 13mm wrench to turn the nut counterclockwise a few revolutions, loosening its hold on the tube. Reach down through the opening in the bracket plate or up from below and turn the nut on the engine side of the bracket counterclockwise a few revolutions. By creating more empty threads between the bracket and the inside nut, you can now pull the threaded tube back toward the steering column until the inside nut contacts the bracket. Then, secure the tube in its new location by holding it steady while you spin the outside nut clockwise until it contacts the bracket. Then, hold the tube with your 11mm wrench and use your 13mm wrench to tighten the nut against the bracket. Once the position of the adjusting tube limits the free play of the OPC lever to a half to three quarters of an inch, it's time to test. Start the tractor, shift into first gear, and start moving forward. Release the OPC lever. If the tractor tires continue to turn, the cable is now too short. The set nut needs to be loosened and the tube moved a bit toward the engine. Once the tube is finally positioned such that full power is achieved when the OPC lever is depressed and the tractor stops when the lever is released, the adjustment is complete. One final note for recoil start models. Before reinstalling the lower shield, it's a good idea to lubricate the four pins with a lithium-based grease for easier removal later. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this video, please call 1-800-543-1040 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.